Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back and as I said in the last video, I am here to do a back to school makeup sort of look for for school. Yeah. So for today's video, um I just want to put out a disclaimer that um you know, I was thinking of doing like very minimalist like no makeup makeup look for school but that will i don't know i feel like people don't, don't really want to watch that so i decided to do a look where it's like everything but still looks natural if you kind of know what i mean um if you do want to see a video where it's like makes you look good like you know like makeup but not makeup you know what i mean um, I can also do that. I feel like it'll be a little bit late because most people already started school and some people, at least to the people in my town, they don't start, high schoolers don't start school, I think high schoolers and middle school, until the um, Wednesday of the week that I'm posting this video. So yeah, that's why I wanted to film this particular video. So yes, if you do want to see a video with less makeup, then give it a thumbs up or tell me in the comments. So yeah, let's just get started with this video. So of course, we're just going to want to prime the face. Um, as I said, this video is going to be very, like, a lot of makeup. Not a lot, a lot, but more than, you know, uh, most people are used to. A lot of people don't wear makeup, and I understand that. And there's a lot of people that do wear makeup. This makeup look, sort of, is... Um, targeted more for people that are into the makeup and don't really mind wearing a full face of makeup um, I'm still gonna kind of do it very natural so I know there's people that like to go all full glam and that's that's a whole nother video you legit can go watch any other video of mine I have so many makeup videos um, and you can just recreate that but for you guys that like makeup and like to wear full face of makeup but still want it to look natural this is your video so just wanted to clear that out there for foundation I'm going to be going in with the one and only photo focus foundation honestly for school this is like four bucks really good foundation so that's a good steal um i think i am going to be using a lot of very cheap makeup in this video so you guys can also like buy it and use it um the primer is six dollars and this is like five dollars the most honestly and it's super good so for this step i'm only going to be applying very little like i'm not going to cake it up because you don't want to feel like heavy at least for this video I don't want you guys to feel very heavy so just apply it very little bit for this foundation um, you guys can go as little or as heavy as you guys want of course um, for this video I'm doing a lighter feel if you guys need to cover more stuff up then you guys can put more and so on and so forth so forth so this is like based on your skin and for you guys that you know don't want to splurge a lot because back to school and you know you're going to be wasting a lot of money a good tip is you can use your foundation whatever foundation you use or you can use a concealer if you guys do want to use a concealer for more coverage but I use my foundation as a concealer so you know it's two things in one I don't really want a highlighted area like this is not like a party or anything so this is just school so I just want to look like no bags um, I do have like pink stains so this is gonna actually show you guys so I just like to put it like where I would usually put my concealer not really like my chin and stuff because you know but like you use it under the eyes to conceal and that's just like two in one Plus, you save some money. To set my face, I have two different um, powders that I use. I use my Airspun powder under my eyes, and this is... I'm not sure. Okay, this cannot be more than $10 at Walmart, I'm pretty sure. And I use this under my eyes, and then I have my CoverGirl Clean Matte Powder. This is also like 5 ish to $8-ish ish dollars. Um, and this is super good to keep you matte all day, which you kind of want at school, especially if you're oily. This will really help you out. Like, I honestly, you guys should go pick this powder up. So what you're going to do is just kind of like tap out the creases in your eye and then just set 
your face. You really don't want to use a lot of the airspun powder either, like I have a little tiny bit. And since our sponge is very, very wet, we're just going to tap it in. We really don't want to bake, we're just going to set that foundation that we put under the eyes. And the dampness of the beauty blender is going to like melt the powder into your face and make it look super nice and not powdery at all and you can totally just set your face with one powder i'm just being i'm just using two powders because the airspun powder like does brighten a little bit as you guys can see like my it's just more brighter where i put that powder and you know i don't want to be like a white face so that's why i use my other powder so for this powder, I legit use a little sponge that it comes with and I just kind of like press it into my face and just set the whole face. And I apply more to like the T-zone area because that's where I know I'm going to get oily throughout the day and if you are also oily, I really recommend you do this step. Just apply a teensy bit more powder to those areas. So for bronzer, I'm not really sure if I have like a cheap bronzer. I'm using my Jelly Pom Pom Cosmetics um, bronzer. I'm honestly not sure how much this costs, but you guys can go and buy any bronzer. I would recommend a matte bronzer. I don't really like shimmers, but if you guys like shimmers. But any bronzer that you guys have, we're not really trying to contour anything. Just a little bronzing up, you know, because you don't want to look pale in like one color. So we're just going to get a big old fluffy brush. This is, the, this is an elf complexion brush, and I'm just going to just bronze up my face. What I love the most about bronzing is that it's not really like you have to like apply it in a certain area. You can legit be like kind of like messy with it. All you have to do is make sure to get like the outer perimeter of your face and that's pretty much how I do it. Since I don't have a, an affordable blush, you guys can use also whatever brush blush you have. You just kind of want to get a teensy bit and just put it right on the apples of your cheekbones and blend it far, you know, blend it backwards like I kind of stamp it on there and then whatever is left on the brush I kind of use to like blend it all in and to make this look more like natural I like to take some like whatever is left on the brush after I put on my blush and I like to like run it down my nose just to like make it more of that blushy look. For highlight, I have the Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette. This is very cheap, so you guys can totally afford this. This has different colors also, and what I love most about this palette is this gold right here at the, like at the end. It's the creamiest out of all of them, and it's super blinding for a cheap highlight. So I'm just gonna take that on my e.l.f. concealer brush that I love for highlight. And you do want to tap some of this off because it's so creamy that it picks up a lot. And you know, we're just going to highlight the face. And for highlight, I don't like to go very harsh because it's school. You know, just a little highlight that lets you know you're glowing like from inside not crazy and i do like to take some of it and put it on the nose it just looks really nice and like you're you're dewy without being dewy some of it on my cupid's bow i didn't mention that i already had my brows done you can use whatever brow product you want so i don't really have like like drugstore um eyeshadow palettes but i did find this alley colors eyeshadow little palette that i don't really like but i'm gonna teach you guys how to make the best out of palettes like this this is from dollar tree it's a dollar um i'm gonna teach you guys how to make the best out of palettes like this that don't that don't really work out for you let me find a let me find a brush for the eyeshadow we're gonna keep it very simple um you guys honestly all you need is just a nice kind of brown shade i'm gonna show you guys which one i'm gonna use i'm gonna use this brown shade right here at the corner 
just the, like not too dark you know but yeah so I'm gonna use this fluffy brush from elf as you guys are seeing most of my brushes are from elf are very affordable as well this is the blending brush um, and what I do with these kind of palettes that don't really show up a lot I kind of just scratch the color like I just scratch it with my nail and it's gonna get a little messy that's why you need a little bit little towel and I'm just gonna dunk it in there after you know I scratched it and then you get some product and that's how I do it and I'm just going to put this color all over the lid I don't really care if it gets on I mean not my lid all over my crease I don't really care if it gets on my lid either um, you just want to make sure that it's just something in your crease to give it some definition. So, yeah, this shade is really, really bad. Okay, um, that was a big old fail. We're gonna use a darker shade. We're gonna, I'm gonna try to use this brown right here. Okay, yeah, this isn't working. I'm gonna use this brown right here. It's more of like a copper shade. Um, because none of those colors were showing up on my eyes. Of course, it's a dollar palette. You can't really expect much from a one dollar palette. You guys can go darker or more lighter. So now that we've had that brown in the sh in the crease, I don't know why I say shade, um, the only other step I'm going to give you guys is to take any shimmery, not shimmery, like blinding inner highlight look. So I'm going to take, hmm, I have a lot to choose from. I'm going to take the same little palette and I'm going to take this shade right here. It's just like a nice shimmery kind of, let me give you guys like, very like a nice color how how do you, how do people swatch like you guys see that like it's not glittery at all it's just like shimmery any nice highlighting you guys can even use your highlighter um but i'm just gonna take a nice little highlighting shade from the palette and just pack that right in the center of my eyelid let me zoom you guys in so you guys can kind of see see how that just like makes my eyes pop a little bit yeah we're just gonna pack that in there and if you guys want to you guys whatever select on your little brush you guys can put it on your brow bone area which will also just give it a very nice like little pop and you guys are experiencing here with me that i put way too much so we're gonna go back in with our brush and just blend it out it's like nothing happened you know we're just fixing up our mistakes and there you go like super cute and it just makes a whole lot of difference like you go from this tired potato to like a happy awake potato you know that got their fully hours of sleep and I did decide not to put any shadow on my lower lash line I just kind of like that look for school because it just makes it even more natural so we're just gonna keep the eyeshadow like that super simple just two shadows that's all you need for mascara you know you always want to curl your lashes well none of you already are blessed with nice curly lashes but for people like me with straight lashes you're gonna want to curl your lashes but that's that's per personal preference um i am going to talk about mascaras i do really like any maybelline um mascaras i also like wet and wild mascaras i'm out of it already i'm out of all my wet and wild mascaras but um for right now i've been using whatever's left of my lash sensational from maybelline wonderful i freaking love this mascara but i've also been loving the great lash lots of lashes mascara and just the wand on this is super nice and they're very affordable they're like less than ten dollars so also a steal so i'm just gonna do that real quick Another tip I want to give you guys is eyebrow gel. Literally, this will change your whole makeup game because it makes your eyebrows look more put together and more more there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, anyways, I only have the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara, which, you know, it's okay, but, you know, if you guys saw my 
um, video on things I hated and things I loved in 20, 2017, I think. Um, I didn't really like this one. Um, you guys can pick up the e.l.f. clear mascara that has like a dual like two-sided one that one is bomb that's like two or three dollars this is a little bit more so i think you guys should get that one instead but you know for today i only have this one so i'm gonna use this on my eyebrows and this literally makes your eyebrows go from like dull to like super snatched i guess that's the only word like you guys see this eyebrow how like nice and like it looks and like this eyebrow just looks dull so then once I put on the eyebrow gel, it kind of like, okay, wait, I need to get some. It kind of like puts the hair, I mean, that's what it's supposed to do. It puts the hair where they're supposed to go and like just makes them look super nice. And like your eyebrows look just good. I really don't know what else, how else to explain this, but there you go. For lips, um, you know, you don't really want to go crazy. I mean, you can. Why do I keep saying you don't want to? But for this natural look, I don't really think, like, something crazy goes with it. I do, however, think glosses go with it. I have three different kinds of glosses. You can always go with a clear gloss, like, clear glosses. They're just never wrong. You guys can do that. You guys, I have this, like, corally one, which this is my fave. And these are all from Dollar Tree if you guys want to go pick them up. I'm not sure if every dollar tree has them but my dollar tree does and they're super good honestly um and i have this like i don't know this is more like a it has like not glitter it's just like kind of like sparkly it's just super nice i love this one as well so you guys can legit use any of those three um and you know lip glosses tend to leave you like from you know you're not gonna have the glossy lips that you had going into school when you're coming out so what i'd recommend is you guys can take these lip glosses to school and reapply it or if you're like me if you're like me and you know you don't want to be seen like you don't you just don't feel comfortable like at school like taking out your little compact and like you know that was just you know that was not that was me i don't like to like i don't like to be portrayed as that person i don't know it just gives me like a vibe that I don't really like. Um, so what you guys can do is you guys, if you guys don't matter, don't mind, um, take a chapstick, take EOS, take um, Carmex. You guys, you know, Carmex is like I have a thing for Carmex because Carmex is like a medicated lip balm, but it looks glossy. So you guys, it's like a clear gloss, but that will help your lips. So that's a tip. So for today's look, I'm going to use this little sparkly one because this is my favorite one. And it's so weird because I only have one of these and the rest I have like a backup for. But yeah, we're going to use this one today. And once you're done, that's the final look. My hair still looks crazy and I don't really care. So yes, this is a very nice face. Also, I do want to mention, I'm not really much of a setting spray girl. Like I bought in setting sprays before, but I just always forget, um, which is kind of not good because my face always looks powdery. But if you guys do have setting spray, you guys can go and dunk yourself in setting spray that will help your makeup last long that will get rid of any powderiness that you have going on if you guys went a little overhead i never really like care for setting spray because my face doesn't really look that powdery there's some days that it does you know it looks powdery as heck but today it doesn't and i really like it i think what helps is that you use less powders and you use a very damp beauty blender because that will help when you're like setting your face um but yeah that's that's the, the last tip i have for you guys i also want to say that do not feel like you guys have to wear makeup to school i i, I used to like it went from like heavy makeup to no makeup at all my last year my senior year no no makeup maybe once in a while i would put a little bit of you know my eyebrows on my little mascara but you know what matters is that you have your grades, you're doing good in school, 
that's it but if you guys can do both you guys like to glam yourselves up and you guys can still do good in school then go ahead and do it and this is the look for you guys so yeah that's it for today's video make sure to comment down below if you guys want another back to school look with the no makeup makeup look because I can totally do that um, and make sure to like this video if you guys liked it and subscribe to my channel to watch more related makeup related videos or any other video that I come out with and I will see you guys in next week's video bye